basically going to take like my entire underwear. I'm finally shooting these pictures of the clothing. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are doing a massive closet clean out and I'm probably going to sell a ton of things on Depop or Instagram as well and I've been putting off this project for so long now so I'm super excited to actually get it done. Also side note, I've seen a lot of people dress up for these kinds of videos whenever I was getting inspiration and I just can't do that. Don't really see the point. I'm just like we're about to go deep into this like organization mode so I'm gonna tell you guys what we're working with like obviously right now you see like a cute little clean background while my closet is the only thing that's keeping me from living my organized dreams okay, so this is basically my clothing rack right now ah! um I know it's a giant mess um I did get like three packs of hangers the other ones in the living room to help organize this mess okay my closet is just a big mess like honestly it needs so much work i think i'm gonna end up like taking this out to create more space i don't know why but i was just so against like hanging all of my clothes i just i wanted to have it like folded slash hung i don't know but i think it'd just be easier to hang everything and put like cute aesthetic pieces on the clothing rack I do have three closets, so this is just like the main one, and then the other one, this one's even worse. I don't know if we're going to get to it right now today, but this is like my like lounge clothes slash underwear closet, and like I had organized some jewelry here as well, but it's literally looking so rough. Um, yeah, and then this closet is kind of like my winter closet slash... Blaine has put some of his stuff here too and like some big coats so basically it's just a big fat mess so I'm very excited to finally be getting some stuff done with it. I think what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this piece and because it was used to organize my bags but I just normally throw my bags like on the clothing rack and I actually did get this thing that I think I'm just gonna put all my bags in and it just takes too much space up so we're just gonna put that on the bed and then as I'm like cleaning it out I'm just gonna set aside like a huge pile of what I'm selling I ended up cleaning everything out of the top um rack of the closet and I just put like my suitcases up there because I figured that I'm I'm not going to want to put any clothes up there because it's just going to be annoying to reach and this is what my bed looks like right now um I just took all the clothes from there and I'm about to go through that first I did put all my bags in here so they're not all of them really but I just figured it'd be good for now and then I do have this like little organization thing that I put like my belts and stuff on and my jewelries on well, the other I'm side. Down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around. Yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Might have caught the June blues. Yeah, I wanna try myself inside the jewels. Yeah, you know. I okay, guys, I want to give you another update. So I finished most of the clothes on my bed and I actually um, went ahead and changed it up a little bit. See, already looking better. Okay, I took the laundry basket out just for like some space. I really have to do laundry. Um, I went ahead and put like the bag up there or like the bag container. So I put the light colored clothing first and it's just gonna gradually go into the dark because I typically use more lighter clothing anyways. Also, this is the pile that I'm selling so far. It's probably gonna get much bigger than that. I actually decided to take a quick ice cream break. Speaking of breaks, let's rewind and see what helped me prepare for this video. What's up guys? So I'm having a little self-care time this morning 
and this is probably like the best mask that I've tried. Um, it's from Look Fantastic. They were kind enough to send over a few products and I wanted to show you guys real quick. And if you guys don't know, Look Fantastic has been a British online beauty boutique that's been around since 1996, the year I was born. Um, but it's super cool because they're coming to the US. Um, I will have like a little discount code for you guys at the end of this. But I've never heard of this brand. It's called Eve Lom. It's supposed to be an all-in-one kind of face mask. It's supposed to detox. Um, help moisturize, restore your skin, plump it, like if you have jet lag or like a hangover or something. And honestly, I feel like it did do just that. I've tried it like once before and it instantly made my skin look plumper. It was crazy. And I have like this huge pimple coming in right there. So I'm hoping it will help that. Um, but yeah, the consistency is just super, super nice and um, thick. And then it dries like this, as you guys can see. But the one thing about this mask, um, one of its main ingredients is camphor. I think that's how you say it. But what I've learned is like it's, I think it's an Asian tree, but its smell is so potent. Um, I think I'm pretty sure it's all natural, but it's such a strong smell. It overwhelmed me at first, but I came to like it actually. It's almost like a, I don't, I don't think it's an essential oil, but it, it's kind of has those. If you think of what an essential oil would smell like, that's what it would smell like. It's it's almost as if you're at the spa. So the next thing that they sent over were these um, gold eye patches. And I've been wanting to try these for so long. So it got me super excited. I don't know what that noise was. And oh my goodness, you guys, like I freaking love these. They make my skin feel amazing. After you're done for about like 15 minutes, you just tap the excess in and it just instantly plumps your skin. It has like gold in it. I just love the packaging. I mean, are you kidding? And then lastly, I have been using this as well, so I've kind of like tried all of these out, um, is a Radiance Perfection Serum by Ren Skincare. It's an all natural um, beauty brand as well. You guys know I'm all about that. But this one has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in it combined, which are like the two main ingredients that I love using in skincare. I think it just makes the most difference on your skin because vitamin C helps reduce dark spots and hyaluronic acid helps plump the skin and they both kind of work for anti-aging as well. So this sinks right in. I highly, highly recommend this as well. The consistency is really nice. It has a slight fragrance, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much. It looked fantastic for sending these over. I will have a little discount code for you guys in case you want to try them out. The shipping was extremely fast. I was so shocked, honestly. Well, I'm going to continue self-caring, so let's just get right back into the video. Okay, guys, um, let me show you what's going on right now. This is what it's looking like so far. I kind of might take the, the laundry basket used to be right there, but I might just like not put it back because I like the amount of space. I'm able to just like come up and look through everything. Right now, this is like, what I have without the laundry being put in. This is the clothing that I'm planning to sell. Wow. Anyways, I might, I put the jeans there and I'm gonna put the pants there, but I might switch that around because I don't know. Also, it might be kind of hard to get the purses out of there, so I don't really think about that. But I don't know. We're just gonna kind of go with the flow of like how it's turning out. Okay guys, I decided to come into the winter closet for a second just so I can add some things to the main closet so we can clear this out a little bit better. These are super cute. I think I'm gonna keep these like vintage inspired. Probably throw some of these hangers away. Loved this shirt, but it had its moments, okay? And I literally don't wear it anymore. Okay, what I'm probably gonna do is take all these hangers and throw them away. Yeah. So this is how that's going. Wow. My child is completely fine. Anyway. Um, basically, I'm going to set this huge pile, and this is like half of Blaine's clothes too, into the like extra room tomorrow. I'm gonna set it in there overnight, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna take pictures of everything because the light is probably not gonna last for too much longer but I'm gonna hopefully wrap up 
like the closet part today okay guys so i finished up the closet with all the coats i'm so happy about that and i put everything that i'm selling so far in like our little extra room and now i'm about to move on to the closet with like my loungewear and undergarments and stuff and i'm not going to show you guys but i'm basically going to take like my entire underwear like little section and i'm gonna go through it and throw a bunch away because i just recently went and bought a bunch of new underwear so i'm about to go through this pile like whoa hey what's up guys so it has been a few days later and i finally finished my closet clean out slash organization project so i'm super excited to show you guys the final reveal okay guys so we're going to start with this clothing rack area i decided to just put current pieces that i've been loving and just look aesthetically pleasing on this rack so it's not going to be for everyday use like it was before and I think it just looks cleaner that way with this whole area in general. Um, so first I just have like this cute little bralette thing from Shein and some other pieces that are, that are really cute and just some shoes. I've been loving these like chunky boots for every day or just like to dress up an outfit. Love it. And then for the official closet reveal, da 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 da. <laughs> here she is okay so i'm not gonna make it look perfect because this is very realistic and i just i don't think it's very realistic to make everything look perfect but basically what i did was organized from light to dark i like the way that light that looked a lot better i know before it was just kind of all over the place and it was i think the dark was first i put all like shoes that i had um left like below that aren't on the rack and then at the top i organized my jeans and pants and then some shorts and i think a few more pants on like biker shorts and skirts over there and then i put all my bags in here and um just like set my burberry like clutch thing out there because i thought it looked cute i don't know why there's stains up there but we're just gonna leave them and then i put my suitcases up top so i feel like it is looking much much better so next we are going to go into the lounge closet get the light going in here so you guys can see but this is what it looks like now a lot better than it was so at the top i just have like my Oh, heat warmer i forget what it's called but it's like for cramps and stuff it just you can lay it on you i don't know i don't know why i'm blanking right now and then i have the cups like we sometimes like to do cupping i don't know if you guys ever heard of that and then i just have like underwear bras and then jewelry i'm not gonna like show you guys the underwear but that's just like extra jewelry my main jewelry is over by my beds not bed stand but getting ready table over there that's kind of not super neat right now and then i put all my sweatshirts right there my t-shirts right here my sweatpants there and leggings there and i have a lot more in the wash leggings wise and everything so it's not all out and then bathing suits right there and then i like to take this bag for when i'm going on a trip and just put all my skincare and makeup in it so that is done with that closet and then in this closet, you guys are going to be shocked. I literally got rid of almost everything in here. And I'm so proud of it because half of it or most of it's just going to be sold or donated. And I just feel so much more free, like very minimal vibes. So basically I put just extra hangers right there, which has been so convenient already because I just go in here and grab what I need. Just put left like the shoes up there, some shoe boxes that store like nicer shoes and then my laundry basket I decided to put in here which has been so much better because that other closet back there isn't as cluttered and then these are just like fabric bags that I have um, for like trips and stuff and groceries so yeah that is pretty much it I watched Matt Villa's film on Netflix um, it's about minimalism and it really inspired me it's not what inspired me to do this but um 
I just watched it the other day and I was like, wow, I'm so glad I'm doing this because like the more stuff you free yourself from, the more free you feel and like it just goes into talking about how materialism just kind of has taken over the American dream and it's just a very interesting film so I highly recommend you check it out. It's not sponsored or anything, I just thought I'd mention it and my boyfriend loves Matt Diavilla, he watches him all the time and I really have come to like him too. But now let me show you guys what I'm selling. Hello guys, I am finally shooting these pictures of the clothing. I'm in my little office studio room. So, I have my little tripod here with my phone and my Bluetooth remote to help me take pictures. So I'm just gonna show you guys a few of the clothing that's gonna go up either on my Depop or Instagram or both. I haven't decided yet. So let's just roll the clips. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I started forming habits. I used to be calm, then my mind turned kind of savage. Yeah. The come up was more than what? It was rapid. Yeah. That bitch, yeah, you know I had to nab it, but it's cool, though. Like that. I had gave no clue, though. Straight back. I came in on an unknown tip. They were like, damn, who, bro? Who's that? But I stay out of this world, I'm on Pluto. Yeah. I manhandle the beat like judo. Yeah. I said, I'm in control of my time to blow this young nigga. Put a Hubler. Okay, so I'm ready to detonate. I didn't come to play, you can get that straight. Wait, will you have a niggas? I, I think that's all I'm gonna show for now because I have so much more to shoot. Not that much though, we're almost done. <laughs> hey guys, so I realized I never filmed an outro, but basically everything that I'm selling that you just saw on those clips is going to be on my Instagram. And I already posted like a batch of the clothing and I had a few items sell so I'm going to be reposting the clothing items this week and I'll also have the clothing that um, I'll just have it up in my highlights so if you guys wanted to like access them you can I'm editing right now um, that's why I literally look like I have a mullet right now but anyways oh that was the dryer I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support and for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you made it this far and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.